So is the GOP offering any new ideas for the economy? Here with the Republican response is the chair of the Republican Study Committee, Georgia Congressman Tom Price. So, Tom Price, welcome hey, back to the show. You heard what Mr. Obama said. You all don't have a single solitary new idea. What's your response, sir? Well, the campaigner in chief is in full form, I tell you. But I, I'd want to, I'd want to distract the American people as well. If, if the policies that I had put in place as president had increased the unemployment, had increased the deficit, the 1.4 trillion dollar deficits the past two years, hadn't done a thing to positively change the health care system. So I'd want to change the message as well. But if you, if, if people go to our website, either Republican Study Committee or GOP.gov, they will see positive solution after positive solution after positive solution, like. Balancing the budget. How about that? Like not increasing taxes on the American people. Like not instituting a national energy tax. And like having a positive patient-centered health reform system that we put on the table uh, over a year ago at this point. So there are positive solutions that will actually get the economy rolling and create jobs. The president just refuses to even acknowledge him at this point because he's in full campaign mode. Speaker Nancy Pelosi yesterday on one of the talk shows said there's going to be a vote on extending the Bush tax cuts before the election. In the House, Tom, is there any chance this side of you know what that all the Bush tax cuts could be extended? No, I, I, I don't see it. In fact, that's their ploy right now. But what, I, what they have said also, what Harry Reid has said and what the Speaker said, is that they're going to have a lame duck session. And it's during that lame duck session between the election and between January 3rd when the new Congress is sworn in, hopefully a Republican Congress, they're going to pass all this craziness. They're going to increase taxes on virtually every single American. They're, they're going to try to pass their national energy tax. And they're going to uh, do some favors for the unions, card check, the, uh, the, the facilitating union formation all across this country. Uh, in a in a way that doesn't allow for a secret ballot. Uh, so they've got a plan. Yes, they got a plan, but it's counter to what the American people but want. Let me just ask you this. Look, um, sure. Independent voters, Tea Party voters, they want limited government. They'd like to see less spending because that's what every single poll shows. After exactly. the economy and jobs, spending and deficits and debt are the issue. Now, Tom. Will you, before the election, will the Republicans have some kind of new contract with America that lays out a plan to stop the debt buildup, to stop the spending buildup, and to somehow reduce the deficits? Will you actually go into a contract with America or a contract from America? Ab absolutely. In fact, we're working on americaspeakingout.com, which allows individuals to go to a website and weigh in. We're talking about spending and deficit, which are, the, are huge challenges for our country, economy and jobs, national security, government reform, and, and health care. We believe firmly uh, in the Republican Study Committee that we ought to go to pre-bailout and pre-stimulus levels just like that. Can you imagine the incredible economic incentive that that would inject into the economy to create jobs? The reason that there are no jobs being created is because the administration and, and the Democrat Congress have put in place policies that actually crush job creation, and they do it week after week after week. So it's no wonder that our employment rate does uh, unemployment rate continues to skyrocket. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Sometimes some good old ideas can be the best <laughs> new ideas. Tom Price, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thanks, Larry.